Guys, I think I have to talk to you about anomaly number 15 with our interstellar object 3i Atlas. Object, comet, spaceship, space junk, or whatever the heck it is. That's what I always say. Something strange, guys, just happened in space. Scientists pointed an X-ray telescope at the interstellar object 3i Atlas, and they found something, guys. They found the new anomaly. They found a glow of X-rays around it. This is something we have never seen before from an object that came from another star system. Boof, there it is, another one. Let me explain in simple words what that could mean. And I promise even if you hate physics, you will get this. First of all, what telescope has found this? Japan. Japan has a brand new space telescope that is called XRISM. We pronounce it like PRISM with an X. So PRISM looks at space and it uses X-rays. X-rays are just basically very energetic light that they're sending out in space. And yes, it's the same type of radiation that is used in hospitals to see if your bone is broken, for example. So that telescope has watched interstellar object 3i Atlas for two whole days and they have removed all the noise that could tamper with the results. Basically all the static in the signal. And guys, what stayed behind has shocked scientists, has shocked them again. A faint X-ray cloud around 3i Atlas, around the object, like a tiny ghostly glow. And guys, Maybe you have seen it in my previous video. All around the world, the space agencies are all of a sudden testing planetary defense and having exercises. Watch my last video and guys, watch my playlist about interstellar object 3i Atlas where you see all the other anomalies. It's really, really crazy right now. And if you can, please hype and like this video, share it with your friends to support my channel. I would be very, very grateful for that, guys. So a faint X-ray cloud around interstellar object 3i Atlas. Every day I have to talk to you and say, guys, this is really not, I, I, I can't help it, guys. This is the news that we're getting. Tiny ghostly glow, another mystery. But that's not all, guys. How big is this glow? Scientists say the glow is five arc minutes wide. And here's what that means in simple words. So a full circle that's 360 degrees. One degree is 60 arc minutes, one degree. And now we only have five arc minutes. The glow is five arc minutes wide. So an arc minute is a very small slice of the sky. To picture it, your pinky finger held at arm's length covers about one degree. So now divide that into 60 pieces. And one of those pieces is an arc minute, and we have five. The glow around 3i Atlas is five of those pieces. And that's big, guys. That's big for such a tiny object. In space, 3i Atlas is considered tiny. How this looked, what they saw is 3i Atlas looks like a faint bubble in x-rays. And it has a weird part. I mean, yeah, this was already the weird part, but guys, it gets weirder. Inside this glow, scientists saw two signals, tiny spikes at 0 0.4 keV and 0 0.6 keV. Again, let me explain this in simple terms. E, V is electron volt. It's a tiny, tiny unit of energy. K, E, V is 1000 electron volts. X-rays usually range from 0 0.1 keV to 10 keV. 0 0.4 keV and 0 0.6 keV, they're very soft, gentle X-rays. This means the glow is weak, but it is real. 
it is real. Scientists can take information from that. These numbers tell scientists what kinds of atoms are involved. It's like fingerprints. Fingerprints of 3i Atlas. And listen to that. These fingerprints did not match the background sky. So where are they coming from? What could cause these x-rays? I told you it's getting better. I hope you're still with me and I hope you have liked and hyped. Here's the super simple version. Scientists think the glow comes from something that's called charge exchange. So we know that the sun constantly blows out particles that we call the solar wind, the comate, or whatever the heck it is. 3i Atlas releases gas. So when the solar winds hit this gas, it steals an electron. And when that happens, the atom gives off a tiny swift of an X-ray light. And that would be it. This little spark creates this glow. We know that normal comates in our solar system that are from our solar system, they do this all the time. We have seen this from Halley, from Eson, from Encke, and from others, other comates. But here, here, and it's, it wasn't 3i Atlas if that were normal. Here is where this case is different, guys. 3i Atlas is not from our solar system. It's from another star system, another sun, another world. So what we're seeing right now is alien molecules glowing in x-rays. And one of my viewers said, well, maybe we should reserve the word alien only for like the real aliens. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, but um, I'm using it here because we don't know what it is. Even if it's a natural comet, we don't know what this material is. It's certainly alien because it's not from our solar system, but I know what you mean and that makes sense. But what's the other word, right? Whatever the heck it is, right? So we're seeing whatever the heck it is, molecules glowing in x-rays if that is maybe suits it best, better. And that's happening when our solar wind hits them. That has never been observed before. Not in the first interstellar op, uh, visitor and not in the second interstellar visitor. It hasn't done that. Why is 3i Atlas doing it? What gases could be coming out of 3i Atlas? Because those two energy spikes, the 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 keV, they usually come from atoms like oxygen and carbon in comates. These atoms come from water vapor, H2O, carbon monoxide, CO, carbon dioxide, CO2. So if, if our atlas has these gases too, that means comates in other star systems might be similar to ours. That would be, guys, a huge discovery, huge space breaking, because it means there is life-friendly chemistry in other solar systems, star systems. It might exist everywhere, maybe not just here. Does this fit with all the other weird things about 3i Atlas? We've talked about this recently a lot, teardrop-shaped coma, extremely long anti-tail pointing towards the sun, possible cryovolcanoes, strange heartbeat-like brightness pulses, weird movement not caused by gravity, um, a composition similar to primitive meteorites, jets of gas showing active behavior, and so on. And for me, the biggest one is the change of direction towards Jupiter. Now add an X-ray glow to the list, basically. This is not normal comate behavior. This is something different. This is something active. This is something powerful. Because these x-rays confirm that 3i Atlas is not a dead piece of rock. It's releasing gas. It's reacting with our sun. It's basically, that doesn't sound too good, waking up as it enters our solar system. Of course, this also lines up with some of the comments that Harvard professor Dr. Avi Loeb has made about 3i Atlas and all the anomalies. Lines up 
especially with his comments about non-gravitational acceleration and these unusual light curves. 3i Atlas is weird. No matter with what we look at it, no matter from where we look at it, no matter how long we look at it. And this new x-ray discovery makes it even weirder. And scientists are excited. They're baffled, but they're also excited, excited because x-rays can tell us a lot. They tell us about what gases the object releases, how it reacts to the sun, what atoms it contains, how fast it's losing material. That's a big one. That's really, really interesting for us. How active it is and how different or similar it is to the comets in our solar system. It's like doing an x-ray or a blood test of interstellar object 3i Atlas, an object from another star system. We can learn what's inside without touching it. And this might be our only chance to study material from another star in real time. So what did PRISM really find? Let's summarize that up so that we get a final clear picture. Faint, beautiful halo of X-ray light around this interstellar object. A glow created when our solar wind hits alien gases escaping from 3i Atlas's surface. The energy levels don't match the regular background. They match atoms that are reacting to sunlight, just like comets in our solar system would do. But this one, it doesn't come from our solar system. It comes from a different star system. We're seeing chemistry from another world. We are watching it interact with our sun. We are witnessing alien material glowing in x-rays for the first time, guys, in human history for the first time. And right now, Atlas is getting closer, brighter, more active. Is this just the beginning is the question. We're all looking at December 19th when we have the chance to get the best data. I will keep you updated about this, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you hyped it. And I hope you will come again. So I hope you will subscribe and I hope you will watch one of the videos here in the end screen. I'll put some 3i Atlas videos there, but also other stuff like tsunamis, earthquakes, whatever, volcanic eruptions, interstellar volcanoes. Check out my playlist about interstellar object 3i Atlas. Go to my channel page, go on videos. You see them all. Stay with me and hopefully I see you here in a second.